Hello, all you space engineers out there. Commander Kingfish here, and it is... What is it? It is day 32 here on planet 26. And, uh... The last episode, we managed to go and gather up our silicone. We put in a, a silicone mining plant, and we made it back to the base here without uh, dying or getting stuck or anything like that. So we're not too bad a shape. And now we have the ability to take one of our uh, drones and fly over and get silicon as we need it. So I think, uh, well, the first thing I want to do is uh, right now is go and grab some silicon. And let's see, do I, what do I have on me? Uh, oh, I have some scrap. Yes, I don't know if I, I, I might have finished that up in the last episode, but I did, uh, actually I did finish it up, because I did have some damage on the door, because I couldn't even get out of here. So, let's go ahead and throw this scrap into here, <coughs> uh, which, uh, oh, I know why it's not pulling the scrap in, just because it's busy pulling in all of that silicon. Uh, so, what we will do is just start grabbing some of this uh, completed silicon. And let's see, I need to throw this excess steel in. Ah, uh, you know what? Let's, uh, let's go ahead and grab as much silicon as we can. And then uh, we'll go ahead and we'll drop that steel off over here so that it is not clogging up the inventory and we can pull and drop this over here uh, let's just see something here I put that there oh good the assemblers can get that so I don't have to carry it all the way over and that should now be processing uh, let's go up and see what is in the queue in the process. Which I probably could have looked at it from down there. But let's, uh, let's just see what the assemblers have in their production. Uh, assembler 3. Assembler 1. It's making all of that uh, bulletproof glass. And assembler 2 doesn't have... Oh, it has... Uh, uh, that's just in its inventory, so it's not uh, got anything in the production. So it's just the bulletproof glass that we need to get uh, finished. And uh, so I'm going to start transferring over some of this silicon and get it uh, off board here. I'm going to let this refinery go ahead and finish um, uh, taking care of the silicon. There's no reason not to use it. And so uh, let me uh, grab all the silicon that I see here. And we'll grab that. That's got 15K, so yeah. And so we'll go ahead and get this all over here. And it's not going to clog up the inventories on that machine. And we can drop this in. And it looks like I'm going to take a wild guess but it looks like it's got all the bulletproof glass done that I need uh, I've cleared out let me go down it's this is the first assembler uh, and let's look at the production yeah it's got it all built up all right so that's good for now so let's go up to our observation tower and we can uh, end up in here. And so the only thing that we had left was, let's see, we get over here. Yep, this one's done. Uh, or no, this one is not done. It needed a little bit more. So let's go ahead and do that, do that, that. Get that one, that one, and that one. 
and that one. That's done. Those are all done. That one's done. That one's done. Okay, that's it's got all the materials we need. Let's go down and grab uh, all the materials. And uh, oh, it's still building more bulletproof glass, so we'll go ahead and get this welded in while that's doing that. And hopefully, I did grab enough silicon to get these finished. But let's, uh, there we go, that's that one. That one's done. That one's done. That's done. There we go. And all right, so those are the only two that's left. I really, well, I say I really want to get this done. What I at least want to do is get all the dome and the glass in. this. Oh, good. All right, we've got all of our components. Let's go back up there and finish. Come on. There we go. All right. That's done. And that's done. Okay, so now here's the here's the real thing. I want to I do want to get this finished today, and what I need to do is finish decide how I'm going to decorate this out. Uh, so what I'm thinking about doing is is some sort of console right here that would be looking out because this is going to be an observation tower and like a control tower. And so there will probably have a uh, console on all four sides looking out so that uh, you have uh, people that would be here looking as well as monitoring uh, traffic, air traffic. And so I think that that'll be a good stretch. And then uh, we can probably put some desks or some decorations around here and uh, I don't know if I've got uh, space above that since I put that window in there. There may not, I may not be able to put anything on top of the elevator. But I can at least be able to put some stuff around the side. Alright, I think let me get uh, decorating away here. And once I get some more stuff done here, uh, I will uh, catch back up with you here in just a little bit. Okay, well, I think as you can see, I've run into my first kind of dilemma of decorating this thing. 
obviously when I built this I built it from the inside and so all the windows are taking up that first row of blocks now the question is can I what I would like to do I guess is remove those blocks and then uh, face them or switch them uh, so that they're connected from the outside and then that will free up this whole block through here and I have a couple of different ways of doing that I can do it with a hinge or I might be able to take and cut this out so let's just use this one here as an example and see what happens if I take uh, yeah we take this one out uh, and so if we go to our bulletproof glass which is seven that is oh I need to change that color back I don't want that I think should be that color right there all right so if we go down to the next level and then if we we should be able to look up we can see which one is up there can we reach that so in order to that would rotate around like that can we get that I might have to build some scaffolding up to there uh, what do I have on me I have uh, of course I don't have any steel plates so let's do this let me run down and get some steel plates take but a second because I got them right down here and so let's just grab a uh, maybe a hundred of those oh about 110 of those and then the other thing I want to grab because that's what I might have to do uh, in order to make these work is uh, let's uh, one. What do I need for these? Uh, interior plates. Perfect. All right. So I already have some of those on me. All right. So let's go up to number two floor. And uh, let's uh, just throw some scaffolding up there. We need. Uh, uh, let's go here. Yeah, right there. That'll work. We won't fall off of this thing, I don't think. And then let's uh, drop that right there. All right. I'd have to end up revamping all of my lower windows. That was a little disappointing when I started putting that down and then realized that I don't have the ability. Okay, I think we're good right here. All right, let's uh, go back to that window, which is three. Let's hit seven. get the right angle on it here. Now see it's not going to let me put that in there. I can't get 
that to go on. So, if we do this, uh, one, uh, my little, uh, all right, if we do this and do that right there, that's my little bit of a hinge. Now I should be able to put my window in right there. And am I going to have to do that? No, I suppose I got to do that from the inside. Problem is, that's the glass itself is going to be dark. And I might have to work on that. Let's see if this is going to go in. Alright, if we go right here. Alright. There we go. Alright, so we turn this around. Is that, uh... Alright, let's make sure this is going to work. And let's go to my console. Yes. So once I get one in, I can add the other. So let's uh, do this. Let's build this window out and see how it's going to look. Well, that's not too awful bad. Uh, with that one in place there, I should be able to do that for all of the lower windows. I'm not going to worry about the upper windows. So I think what I'll do is let me uh, go ahead and switch these windows around. It shouldn't take too long. And then uh, I'll uh, catch back up with you once I get the windows all uh, switched around. Okay, I'm just welding up the uh, last of these windows. And then I think if we do this, which that looks pretty good actually. I was a little worried. You got a little bit of a seam right there uh, where these are facing inside. 
again, those would all be the same. If I wanted to go up, I probably will end up with the same problem. But uh, I know how to fix that. And the fact that I've already got uh, these hit. Well, actually, I would have to. I don't know if I could fix the top very easily because of the way these are. These have to turn in like this. And so if we go up, uh, we can't quite reach that. Uh, if I need to, I'll deal with that. I could probably get up there and maybe put some sort of hinge on uh, and then uh, start uh, laying those down again. Uh, it'd be a matter of just grinding them and then replacing them. So that's not a problem. So if we uh, take our uh, console and you can see that uh, it uh, will fit up against the window. Uh, it'll uh, on all of them. So which is a much better, which is much better. So I'm going to put two main consoles. Let's see. I think one like that, where it's got the transparent screen in front of it, uh, and if we plop that down, actually I wanted to, let's use this blue, eh, I don't, I, I just, I don't like the color, I can go back and paint these, maybe that green color, uh, how about a lighter gray color? that black I don't know uh, let's just uh, go with the gray for now uh, and then uh, I can uh, come back and paint these things so if we plop that down right there one there I wanted one right there and one right there and one right there so let's do this. Let's uh, get the materials that we need for each of these. And we'll build these out. And we'll see how that's going to look. All right, so down to the first floor. Kind of come up here. We should. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see if this will build out. Oh, I still need more motors for that. Didn't quite get enough. Uh. I'll tell you what, once I get these built out, I'll catch back up with you here in just, just a little bit. Okay, I've got the uh, I got the four consoles in place. So if we come over here and sit down in here, so we can look around, and we've got uh, all of our uh, information in front of us here. Uh, we can uh, kind of look out and see everything in front of us. So I kind of like the way this is looking. So. Uh, let's uh, hop out of here so that looks pretty good the other nice thing is as I'm up here building away I don't have to run back over to the uh, uh, planet rover to get charged up now so I got these seats right here I can get charged up with uh, so there's that now I need to start just decorating out a little bit more in here and uh, I think uh, some more desks Maybe some more, uh, I'm trying to, let's see what else I got here. 
uh, in my consoles. Uh, we might... There's this one. You know, those might look good up next to there. Uh, or even maybe something like one here. Uh, could go there. And then maybe one on the other side. Uh, we have a straight console and chair. Uh, oh, this one is a diagonal one that would fit next to a diagonal wall. I probably won't use that. I don't have anything in there for that. Uh, we do have a corner one, though. Let's see how that would look. So we could put a corner one. So maybe if we put a corner one here, maybe put one there, and one over here, and we go back to maybe this one. Put this one over here. Put one there. And then one over here. Uh, that might look pretty good. And if we go back to these, maybe a... Uh, maybe we throw a hologram type table right there. Uh, what else do we got? Maybe a server room type, which is, that's the other thing I probably need to build is a server room. Uh, but I think, I don't know, maybe put one of those right there. Of those right there. So I think let me go ahead and start building these out and once I get these built out I'll uh, catch back up with you here in just a little bit. Okay, I think it's starting to come around of what I want. So I got uh, I got all of the main observations. This is these the actual controllers, air traffic controllers, where they can look out and monitor uh, the flights coming in. Uh, you have other consoles that are in place that can uh, coordinate anything that. Uh, might need to be, you know, just odds and ends, supplies, uh, whatever these ships are going to need. I've got uh, servers set up, console servers, so that they can, uh, so that'll process all the data that's coming in. So there's uh, two of those, one on each side. And then this is like a main console where uh, the lead supervisor can sit here and just monitor everything that's going on. So 
that's that. Uh, I still need to put a little more decorations and stuff, and I've got some ideas on that. Uh, let's uh, let's see. Let me get over to here. So let's. Uh, I want to maybe throw in a decorative blocks. Uh, nothing there. Actually, nothing there. Oh, actually, you know what? They're up here. We probably need to put a dispenser in. And then uh, I think uh, some desks and some planters. Let's uh, drop uh, the desks in and then we'll drop the planters in right here. So I'm thinking maybe a planter over here. Uh, maybe something, maybe a planter there, and maybe one on this side over here. Something about like that. And then, uh, what else do we have? No, 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 no. Okay, so let's go six they need a beverage dispenser up here someplace and what if we put it I've already utilized all of these probably it would have been a good spot right there uh, what if we put the beverage dispenser right here in this corner that'll work and then uh, we need to put a couple of desks somewhere up here uh, maybe something about uh, maybe something facing that away not necessarily up next to the window maybe one there and maybe we'll put one right here And then maybe put one right there. All right. Well, let's get uh, these built out. So once I get these built out, then I just kind of got to paint them and figure out what we got. So let me uh, go ahead and get these done. And then uh, once we get that done, then I'll catch back up with you. Okay, so that didn't take too long. We've got the, the desks in here, so there are some desks. We've got all the consoles in. Uh, let me see if I can come up with a better color on this stuff. Uh, and uh, yeah, hold. So uh, let me kind of let's let's start doing some experimenting here. Uh, let me go to my paint gun. Uh, what if? We, actually, let's go over here. Uh, been using the battered on all of this stuff. What if we've got something... Uh, I wonder how a clean armor... Uh, retro... Silver armor... I wonder how weldless armor would do with blue on these. Let's see how that looks. Now I'm going to have to change this one. Let's get to the weld. Retro, rusty, by silver. Or torn weldless. All right, let's let's see what happens here. All right, I think that's good for that machine. Uh, let's see how. Uh, 
let's see how these desks look in black. We'll paint we'll paint the desks black. That looks pretty good. There we go. Uh I guess I just put uh I just put the three desks in. All right, what color for the planters? Green, which would make sense. Uh, that looks pretty good. And then, what do we, th what, how about for the main consoles? color. Oh, that's a little too much. I wonder if uh, yellow would look pretty good there. Uh, paint these yellow. And uh, let's do these others in red. And this one. And then I think I got one over here. And uh, do we leave the servers like that? I wonder how they would look in black. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good on the servers. Okay. Well, I think this is looking pretty, pretty good actually. What do you guys think? Why don't you let me know down in the comments what you think about this. I think we've got everything that we need up here. Uh, and uh, we can see out. Uh, it all looks pretty good from up here. I think there's one more thing I want to do. I want to uh, build up some scaffolding so that I can, for one thing, take a screenshot and so that you guys can kind of see what this looks like and uh, from the outside uh, and what did I do I went down to the first floor let's change over to the welder and do I have steel plates oh I got 110 of those so let's go back up to the second floor Let's just see how this looks from down below here. So that doesn't look too awful bad. Uh, but let's do this. There's no reason not to uh, of course, the sun's going to be around there on me, but let's do this. Let's just throw some blocks down. Right there. Uh, we want to go fairly high with this. So, yeah. That right there. Alright, once I get this built up and uh, we get an outside view, I'll catch back up with you.
Well, here's a look at it from the outside, uh, from up above. So it kind of looks pretty cool. It's gotten the reflection coming off there. Of course, we know from the inside that that's all clear looking at it from up above. Uh, if we go back down, kind of from a side angle here, you can kind of see what it looks like. I'm, I'm pretty happy with that so far. Uh, I think if we look at it from under here, uh, we've got the one block in the corner and you can kind of see the consoles inside uh, from down here. I think that looks pretty good. And I think uh, the other thing I got to do now is start, uh, I've got to put some lighting in there. Uh, and I think, uh, I think we're pretty close to about wrapping up for today. So I think next time we uh, finish the lighting. And then what I want to do is work on this uh, platform up here as to making this kind of a landing strip area. Uh, I might uh, need to build this out a little bit over here, but we'll see. Obviously, I need to put railings in all the way around, uh, color this so that uh, we have uh, uh, areas out there. I need to put a uh, uh, connector coming up through here so that uh, any uh, drones and stuff coming in or uh, the uh, flights ultimately uh, once this season is completed I'll have a basically a transfer station base up on one of the asteroids which is kind of the idea that you'll have uh, uh, drones or ships that will fly from here delivering parts, ores, and stuff from the salvage operation up to there. And then the main company uh, will come in and pick up the parts from there and take it back to the, the, the main company factories and stuff like that. So that's uh, where we're at right here. Well, uh, like I said, I think this is about wraps this up. Uh, if you like the video, please hit that thumbs up. It really helps the video out a lot. And uh, please subscribe. That really helps the channel. And uh, hit that uh, uh, bell uh, so that you're notified of any new uh, videos as I put them up out there. I try to keep them, try to keep uh, new videos going uh, every week. And so uh, three or four videos a week is what I'm trying to put up. So hopefully you're enjoying all of that. All right, all you space engineers out there, keep building away. Keep your heads low and don't get shot. And with that, Commander Kingfish is out of here, and I will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone.